FM Citra Generasi Informatif Kembali lagi kita di dalam segmen Fun Friday with English yang dibawakan oleh My Suara FM dengan kerjasama Universiti Utara Malaysia iaitu setiap hari Jumaat Fun Friday with English daripada jam 10 pagi sehingga jam 11 pagi bersama dengan panel tetap kita iaitu Miss Wan Soleha. Hai Miss Wan. Hai good morning. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam. Selamat hari raya. Uh, selamat hari raya. Maaf, Maaf Zahir Batin. How's your raya? Well, it was um, as usual, very occupied uh-huh. with house um, it's like a housewarming uh-huh. uh, event too because we just, you know, we just moved in into a new house. I uh, so we make it together with uh, eight uh, kenduri. <laughs> okay, kenduri so, eight. so right. today what is our topic? Okay, the topic for today is, is more to word skills. Word skills. Yeah, it's okay. like a vocabulary. Mm-hmm. Okay, so uh, I'm going to share with you a few contacts. Uh, this is something that we used to do before okay. in our previous sessions. Mm-hmm. Uh, where I'm going to give a uh, context and we will be discussing on a few vocabularies, mm-hmm. uh, I mean associated vocabularies mm-hmm, uh, that mm-hmm. can be used. Because sometimes uh, I notice that many of my students, when they're about to say something, mm-hmm. they are uh, halfway saying it. One of the reasons is because of the lack of vocabularies. I see. Yes. Okay, uh, we have discussed about mm-hmm. vocabulary mm-hmm. before, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm not sure. Uh, if you still remember, what was it? Uh, what was it about? It's about the... Uh, mm-hmm. Yes. Face. Features. Features. Yes. Features. Is about um, f- facial exp- appearance. Yeah. If you still remember, yeah. I told that day how to say uh, rambut kerinting, yeah, wavy, uh, yeah, wavy frizzy, macam mana. Yeah. There's, a, there's a slight difference between wavy and frizzy. Mm-hmm. If you still remember, what's the difference? Uh, frizzy is more curly. Uh, than uh, uh, yes, yes, it's curlier compared to wavy. Mm-hmm. Wavy in, in Bahasa, we call it ikal mayang. Yes. Yes. Ah, uh-huh. uh, dia macam beralun yang besar, yeah. isn't it? Orang cakap rambut macam tu cantik. Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I heard that. Okay, jom. Right. Uh, so hari ni lepas ni kita akan uh, bincangkan topik tapi kita berehat yes. dulu Miss Wan. Kita dengar right. dulu lagu ini. But, but before you play uh-huh. the song, um uh-huh. afterwards we're going to discuss about the 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 likes and dislikes. Ah, like uh, suka dan tak suka. Okay. How to express that in English? Okay. All right. All right. Jom kita dengarkan lagu ini. My Suara FM Citra, generasi informatif. Okay, jom kita sambung balik topik kita hari ini tentang word skills. Ah, word skills. All right. This is actually something that I refer to Oxford Learners Pocket. Yes, yes. It's 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 not really a kind of dictionary, but it's more like um, very informative small book. Mm-hmm. You know, this is uh, a pocket book for us to refer, a reference book, mm-hmm. but very, very useful. I myself find it very useful. I think um, the rest also would find it useful because it makes works. Um, from this, we can learn, okay, this is promoting, right? Mm-hmm. We can learn new words, phrases, and expressions. Uh, so from there, we can know how and when to use new vocabulary. Mm-hmm. And the best part is I can remember more with the, you know, with the... Because it goes by uh, context. Mm-hmm. Uh, contohnya like and dislike. Lepas tu dia cakap pula pasal travelling, mm-hmm. what to say during travel, mm-hmm. uh, how to say during you cook, uh, how to say during uh, social networking. It's it's not like a scripted punya ni, no. It's more like uh, they put it into context. So kita tahu perkataan apa. What are the words that can be used. All right, so anyway, um, coming back to uh, our context, which is likes and dislikes. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Normally, people, mm-hmm. when we are saying kita suka, mm-hmm. we tend to say like. Yeah. I like this, I like that. Mm-hmm. And uh, on the other hand, when you do not like anything, you say hate. Yeah. Or, or just simply, I don't like. Don't like yeah. I don't like this. Mm-hmm. I hate this. Mm-hmm. What are other words that can be used? Ah, what are the other words? There are a lot more actually. Saya mm. suka lah kucing ni. How to I say that? I love this cat. I like this cat. Apart from these two words, mm. we have a lot more. I want this cat. I want <laughs> this cat. Uh, okay. 
I adore this adore. cat. Uh, for example, how to spell adore? A D O R E. R -E. Yes, adore. Okay. Um, okay. Um, adore means mm -hmm. minat. Adi macam something. Oh, mengkagum, memuja, yeah. suka, something that uh, you know you can remember it. Cats lah normally, okay? For pets, cats, they are adorable. Adorable is an adjective. Kata sifat untuk cat. Mm -hmm. Macam Erin, you are so adorable. Mm -hmm. Kita kena tambah bel, able. Able kat belakang tu. Adorable. Adorable. Mm -hmm. Which means, uh, something yang boleh disukai. Mm -hmm. ah, okay? Because, because of the qualities that they have. So cats, they are adorable. Adorable. Anything with a cold skin is vile, though. I can't bear birds in cages. That's just cruel. Okay, so uh, you know lah, kalau kita suka, apart from love and like, we can say adore. How to say, okay, uh, for example, I give you another example. Uh, we talk about music. You nak kata, I suka music ni. I like this music. Mm, admire. Macam, ah, admire, admire, admire is usually we mm. use for person. Ah, yes, what else? Mm. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> have you ever heard people saying uh, this? Uh, I am so into this genre. Uh, ah, yeah. yes, into this. yes. Uh -huh. I am into. Uh, okay. So I this phrase, this. I am into, bukan saya masuk ke dalam. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. I am into oh, means. Saya sangat meminati. Mm -hmm. Okay, I am really into Cuban music right now. I am into. Ah, uh, I am really into traditional music right mm -hmm. now. I thought when I am into is usually uh used mm -hmm. for uh, mm -hmm. saya terlibat. Definitely. Saya terlibat, no. no ah, right? uh, it it can be, it can be that way. But uh, when when we talk about interest or hobbies, it's more like you you I am into I am into dancing. Or, kalau you nak tanya orang kan, apa yang you minat? Hmm. What do you like? What do you like? Question, What kind of questions can be very general. And in, people can answer you in such a broad manner, you know. Hmm. But, if you ask them, what, what are you into? into? Ah, uh, What are you into? Uh, oh, well, I'm into uh, motorbike mm -hmm. and sports. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, that means I just like uh, uh, misunderstood mm -hmm. before about use. Into. I am into. into. Yes. When someone uh. asked me, what are you into? I thought, uh, what uh. are you doing? Actually, oh, like really? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So now you know, what are you into? It means, uh, apa yang you suka? Mm -hmm. Apa yang you minat? Mm -hmm. uh, and at the same time, you buat lah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm so much into cooking and baking. Uh, mm -hmm. I can say that. Mm -hmm. Okay, Because that's something that I love doing and I do it. Mm -hmm. Okay. I am really into traditional pop music, for example. Mm -hmm. How to say I tak suka? Uh, when it comes to music, I love Loathe. L-O-A-T-H-E. Loathe. Mm -mm. I loathe. Kalau tak suka lah tu. Nah, L-O-A-T-H-E. I loathe band. I loathe. Uh, okay. Boy bands or girl bands. Mm -hmm. It depends. Uh. I am really into um, pop rock music, but I loathe boy bands. L-O-A-T-H-E. Okay. Uh. Uh, satu pelajaran yang baru yes, sebenarnya. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, speaking of adore, mm -hmm. apa, apa, what, What is the opposite of adore, apart from dislike? Mm. I adore um I adore abstract art. Uh, saya suka seni art abstract, right? Mm -hmm. I adore abstract art, but photography, you know, leaves me cold. Uh, leave leave me saya mm -hmm. cold. C O L D. Oh, dingin. Dingin. Maksudnya mendinginkan saya tak tak menaikkan perasaan minat. Hmm. So, um, uh, opposite for adore is hmm. cold. Yeah. Oh, no 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 not not really it's not really opposite for adore but this is one of the phrases that can be used to show um your dislike your hmm. dislike manner. You can you can use it. Okay. For example, uh, it can also be used with I'm into. I am into uh, pop rock music but uh rock genre leave me cold mm -hmm. for example mm -hmm. i am so much into traditional music but uh pop rock leave me cold mm -hmm. ha. like someone will say oh she's hot then uh, so be like oh she's hot and then uh, uh, uh but uh okay usually we use hot for some something like mm -hmm. like adorable yes hot yes like, like you know very very Interesting. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, to describe people, hot. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. uh, is it 
same uh, no that is an adjective this is something that uh call leave me call it means that uh you are expressing your dislike mm-hmm. nah ketidaksukaan tu <coughs> bukan bukan kata sifat orang oh, okay. Uh, okay? okay all right, all all right. right. Friend, okay yes yes okay so mm-hmm. kita rehat dulu miss one all right. okay jom kita dengarkan dulu lagu ini daripada all right. Bruno Mars marry you untuk wow. miss one <laughs> thank you so much <laughs> My Suara FM Citra Generasi Informatif masih lagi berada dalam segmen Fun Friday with English yang mana segmen ini dibawakan dengan kerjasama My Suara FM dengan U University Utara, Utara Malaysia Kuala Lumpur. Okay, Miss mm-hmm. Wan, let's we continue. Uh, before we mm-hmm. uh, proceed, the song, mm-hmm. we talk about like and dislike. All right, what is for the song? <laughs> what is another song? Another song is She's a Lady by Tom Jones. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So speaking of music, if you still remember, mm-hmm. um, one of the ways that we can use to 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 express our our likes is by saying, I am really into that song. For example, saya suka sangat lagu tu. I'm so re- I'm I'm really into that song. Uh, or I adore that song. Not not really lah. Okay. But I'm really into that song can be used. Or, how to say you don't like, for example, saya tak suka film itu. I detest. Detest. Yes. Have you ever heard that word? Detest or detest? Detest. 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 D-E-T-E-S-T. I detest, detest films okay. that glorify violence. I, I detest, detest uh, movies, you know, that glorify violence. Mm-hmm. Uh, glorify means yang you know me- menghighlightkan mm-hmm. something that me- mengwar-warkan. Okay, I detest, mm-hmm. which means you don't like. Mm-hmm. Nah, just now we 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 learned the word love, L-O-A-T-H-E, uh, leave me cold. Mm-hmm. Now detest. detest. Yes, I detest mm-hmm. movies that glorify violence, mm-hmm. and I'm not mad about thrillers either. Not mad, tak marah. Not mad. Ah, uh-uh. tak marah. Not mad. Okay. I'm a big fan of movies that deal with political issues in an interesting way. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm a big fan of, nak kata kita ni minatnya. Mm-hmm. I'm a big fan of Michael Jackson. Yeah. I'm so into Michael Jackson. Uh, both can be used. Mm-hmm. I'm a big fan of, apa-apa-apa. I'm a big fan of Tun Dr. Mahathir, for example. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. For example. Uh, okay. Or, uh, the bay, you know, uh. hmm? <laughs> eh, I do. <laughs> Who said not? <laughs> All right. Okay. Next, um, when we are talking about uh choices in life, mm-hmm. uh choices in life, choices is everywhere, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, choices are everywhere. It can be uh you are making choice um at the menu, choosing food for your dinner, for example. How would you say to the to the you know waiter waiting for you? I I not need I not need. Huh? How to say that in English? Hold on, hold on, tunggu. Okay, mm. bila you nak cakap menu apa yang you nak tu, how to say that? Mm, I would like. I would like to have this. Okay. Uh, I would like to have this. I would like to order. I would like to have this. I would like to order this. I would like. Okay, apart from that, selain daripada itu, apart from that. I want to try. This. I want to try, try. <laughs> how to try? try. <laughs> or, or we can say, oh, I'll go for this. Ah, I go for this. I'll go for this. It it shows that you have made your choices. I heard before. But yes. Ah, uh, you should apply it. I go for this. I, for this. I heard that you have many international friends, DJ Ari. <laughs> so many. I'm a one world. Ah, <laughs> uh, not one Malaysia, one world. <laughs> I'm not one, uh, only one Malaysia. Make I'm use one of world. that. Make use of your friends. You know, you have to make use. Not it's not that every Malaysians have international friends. You are so lucky to have <laughs> many international <laughs> friends. Very. <laughs> <laughs> so you can say, oh well, uh, of all many men I know, mm-hmm. I go for stable, mature men. Uh, mature, yeah. you you are choosing. Mature. You know, uh, you are making your choice. I <laughs> go for stable. I go for this course. I go for this university. I want to do this. Mm-hmm. So you go for. Which one would you go for? Ah, uh, kalau nak tanya pun, if you are asking people, which one you choose? Which one you choose? Ah, uh, apart from saying that, you can just say, oh, which one would you go for? Nah, uh, which one you go for? This one or this one? Which menu? Which meal? Okay, apply it. Eh, after this, guys, <laughs> guys who treat women badly disgust me. Ah, disgust, menjengkelkan. Menjengkelkan, disgust. Eh? Yes. 
Okay. Guys who treat women badly disgust me. Okay. Uh, disgust. To show, to express mm-hmm. your d- dissatisfaction, to show your dislikes. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Speaking of free time. Okay. Do you do you have your free time, DJ Rin? You have twenty four seven for God's sakes. <laughs> don't say you don't have one. <laughs> All right. You you want to talk about um, doing something uh, during free time. Okay. This is common questions mm-hmm. asked by many people, especially people who are about to to get to know us. Mm-hmm. Uh, like uh, one, uh, what what do you do? What do you do during your free time? Ah, how to answer that kind of questions? Normally, oh, well, I like doing this. This is, uh, I like baking and cooking, but sounds very, you know, very moderate kind of answer, very biasa. Mm-hmm. How to make it uh, more uh, flowery and beautiful? How to say that? We can, we can, we can actually say, it. Oh, well, I'm passionate about. Passion. Uh, oh, oh, I'm passionate. I'm passionate about outdoor uh, activities and keeping mm-hmm. fit. Mm-hmm. I'm passionate about cooking and baking and trying out new recipes. <laughs> After the, I, after uh, the I can try with you. I'm passionate. Uh, <laughs> I'm passionate about. Um, uh, Facebook and uh, for example I'm very much mm-hmm. passionate about fashions line and I wish one day I'll be having my own fashion lines mm-hmm. for example mm-hmm. there are a lot a lot of you know um, I would say uh, phrases that can be used okay I'm I'm I repeat eh? I'm really into I adore mm-hmm. I go for mm-hmm. I'm passionate about mm-hmm. and how to say that. Oh well, computer games don't appeal to me at all. Don't appeal. Don't appeal. Maksudnya tak macam ah tak menarik perhatian. Yes, computer games don't appeal to me at all. Don't appeal. Mm. Uh, appeal. How to spell A P A P A double P E A L. Ah appeal. Nampak macam tak menarik perhatian kan? They are just a waste of time. Uh, they are just a waste of time. Computer games don't appeal to me at all. Hey, have a new game. Mm. Pokemon. Pokemon. Go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you play that? Hey, I'm <laughs> waiting for the soul. Yes, go. I heard that in news <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> now, okay. Anyway, speaking of food. Okay, I know this is your favorite. Speaking of food, how to say that? Oh, teringin lah nak makan this, this, and this. How to say teringin tu? Ah. I'm craving. Cr- yes, correct. Yeah, <laughs> I'm always used correct. That. <laughs> I get okay. One of the one of the ways that can be used is I get cravings. Craving. I, I get, get cravings. Cravings ni macam mengidam, ha? Okay. I get cravings for chocolate, which is a disaster. I get cravings for sweets mm. because you know, as far as I know, ladies they have their own. Yeah. Uh, season time, uh, time. Ha, yes. certain time like today I, I bring a lot of chocolate here oh my goodness <laughs> Let, let's end our session earlier <laughs> <laughs> I know you're also craving yeah. too <laughs> I get cravings craving means keinginan eh? mm-hmm. I get cravings for chocolate I get mm-hmm. cravings for sweets <laughs> uh, I love fish but I find seafood revolting for example mm-hmm. I love fish but I find seafood revolting revolting means like you want to show something that best. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a negative word. R e v o l t i n g. You can yeah, revolting. Tak menarik perhatian. Tak rasa macam nak makan. Revolting. Nah, revolting. It can be used that. Okay. Speaking of travel. Mm-hmm. Okay. Before we before you play another song. Mm-hmm. Speaking of travel, how to say saya suka travel? I love traveling. Yes. I'm so into travel. Yes. I ah uh, what else? I I am vaccinated. Oh. Uh, how to spell that? F A S F A S C I N A T E D. I'm vaccinated by other cultures and I love traveling. Uh, I am vaccinated. Kena pakai M tau. I am vaccinated because vaccinated is actually an adjective. Sebelum adjective need to uh it need you to have your verb to be. Verb to be, so remember what are verb to be is are was were m. Hey, my boy. M. Is are was were m. Okay, contohnya nak kata saya 
uh, cantik for example saya duduk dengan confident saya cantik I beautiful or I am, am beautiful. beautiful why you need to have the word am before the word beautiful Because why verb to be verb to be must be used before the adjective yes. Ah, uh, otherwise, kalau you tak pakai, it will be broken, a broken language. All right. I am beautiful. I am beautiful. Okay. okay. All right. So, Miss, uh, mm-hmm. one, kita sambung balik lah. All right. So, um, next, uh, let's uh, move on to tears and laughter. This is going to be a very quick one because I, I learned that time is running out. Mm-hmm. Okay, time is running out. What does it mean? Time Mas- is running out. Mas- Masa dah Yes dah Masa dah tak dah. banyak ha. It's actually a title of a song Muse Nah, suruh lah tau Of course <laughs> ha, You're fast learner You tahu je I memang Abang nak Abang ha, Nampak <laughs> dah duduk kat kursi ni <laughs> uh, Time is running out Hey, after this let let enjoy that song yeah everyone <laughs> it's my favorite hey, song tak ada je lagu tu <laughs> oh really i <Are you> sure <laughs> all right so tears and laughter okay. tears i mata laughter kegembiraan mm-hmm. you know ketawa mm-hmm. all right so there are a few words that can be used to you know to somehow uh, express mm-hmm. tears and laughter in our life for example there uh, there is a statement here my brother used to make fun of me make fun of me ha kita nak kata orang mempersendakan kita ni sometimes we don't know how to say that in english all right so actually we can say oh don't make fun of me don't make fun of your friends don't make fun uh, make fun eh mm-hmm. bukan have fun <laughs> have fun seronok seronok make fun mempersendakan mm-hmm. my brother used to used to which means uh, yeah. pernah uh, my brother used to make fun of me because of my curly hair It seemed to amuse him. Amuse maksudnya macam menyeronokkan dia. Uh-huh. Alright. But it really upset me. It really upset me. Uh-huh. Uh, dia sangat me- mengecewakan, menyakitkan, menyakitkan hati, hati saya. One day, he started teasing me in front of my friends. And uh-huh. I just burst into tears. Uh, burst into tears. Nak kata kita ni menangis. Burst. How to spell burst? B-U-R-S-T. Uh, burst into tears. Ah, uh, okay. Instead of just say, oh, uh, I want to cry. I should cry you all the times. The best quality dah sampai ke university. <laughs> you use the word cry. <laughs> I'm burst into tears. Ah, uh-huh. I burst okay, into okay. tears. Ah, uh. I burst into tears. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, no. You make it longer, eh? <laughs> Three words instead of just one word. Cry, hey, cry. So lame lah. Burst into tears. All right. <coughs> We watch, and then he She knew. Ah, he burst into tears. He knew he had gone too far and said sorry. He had gone too far. What does it mean by gone too far? Ah, uh, yelah, pergi terlalu jauh. Melampau. Yes, melampau. Like correct, correct. Ah, uh, kita kata abang tu dah melampau, gone too far and said sorry. Okay, itu satu. There's another, another uh, situation. For example, oh, last night my boyfriend and I mm-hmm. watch a Titanic movie. Best ke? A best. Siapa kan? Ah, Queen Mall. Titanic tak semua pun nama je cerita. Oh lah, I turn to thousand, thousand, thousand. Nah, punya semalam kreatif. Nah, itulah. <laughs> so my boyfriend and I, we watch um a thousand movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, the other night and my boyfriend cried his eyes out. Hmm. Ah, nak kata dia menangis ni tengok Burst cerita tu. Into Burst into tears is more like macam emotion yang tak tertahan-tahan. Contoh mm-hmm. you terlalu Ah, uh, let's say because people hurt you, then you burst into tears. Mm-hmm. Ah, mm-hmm. ni nak kata hasil dari perhayatan you watching a movie. Ah, uh, yes. So you can say cry my eyes out. Cries my eyes out. Ah, uh, I cry my eyes out. Ah, uh, ataupun you cry your eyes out. She cries her eyes out, or he cries his eyes out. Uh, maksudnya something yang tiba-tiba mata meleleh turun mm-hmm. slow tak ada macam uh, tekuk bantal tu tak ada lah ha. that is burst into like tears me. yes and he was still sobbing an hour later how okay what does it mean by sobbing s o b b i n g ha uh, tersedus sedan yes correct sobbing eh yes sobbing an hour later all right when i was a kid That used to. Uh, this is another one. When I was a kid, that used to tickle me, which made me giggle a lot. What does it mean by the word tickle? 
skeptical. Menggeliati. Cuit. Ah, cuit. Nak, nak, nak geletik, tak geletik. Macam tu lah. Mm-hmm. Tickle means, you know, you touch somebody lightly. And repeatedly that they love. Mm-hmm. Ah, geletik lah lebih kurang. Mm-hmm. Okay. That used to tickle me. That is something uh, involve laughter, right? Tickle ni. Ah, we have to know that word. That used to tickle me, which made me giggle a lot. Giggle. <laughs> ah, pandai. <laughs> eh, do it again. <laughs> Wah, dah jerit. Giggle. G-I-G-G-L-E. Giggle. Giggle ni macam gelak yang mengekek tau. Uh, in other words, you laugh in an, you know, excited way um, or silly way with high pitch sometimes, rapid sounds because you are amused, embarrassed or nervous. Giggle. Hmm. Nah, mengekek-ngekek lah lebih kurang. Uh, okay. How to say? Okay, this mengekek is... Mengekek is not like just a... Uh, uh, Oh, <laughs> yes, it's not mengikir. I think uh, the giggle is something like a small. <laughs> it's just uh, small laugh, you know. Yes, yes, but 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 mengikir is like a lot, lot of laugh. Yes. Yeah. It, ha, 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 ha. Is it something like? Um, it depends on uh individual's interpretation. But my interpretation <coughs> of mengikir is macam gelak gelak man manja, ah uh, ah, uh, <laughs> macam ayah gelite anak 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 mengikir. <laughs> For example. <laughs> Okay, next. My colleague Tom is always telling jokes. Ah, ha, nak kata orang selalu buat lawak, buat lawak bukan make jokes tau. Mm-hmm. In English we we say hmm. telling jokes. Oh, ah, bercerita lawak. Cerita ah, lawak. telling jokes. Okay. Okay. My colleague Tom is always telling jokes. Bergurau orang yang suka bergurau. Ah, you know orang yang suka bergurau, suka macam ah uh, bila duduk dengan dia, mm-hmm. they always jokes, you know, yang dia akan share, dia, dia akan crack jokes. For example, Faiza uh, always uh, telling jokes. Yeah, to Faiza all. always tells jokes to everyone. Uh, so we are so pleased with him. Okay, and and okay, ayat dia macam ni. My colleague Tom is always telling jokes. He has everyone in stitches. Ah, ini idiom ni in stitches. I n one word, S T I C H E S. Stitches. S T I T C H E S. In stitches. Kau nak kira stitch means jahitan, right? Okay, but here in stitches it means you laughed a lot. Hmm, you laughed a lot. Okay, you have people in stitches. In stitches. Yes, so you laughed a lot. Ah, itu yang best tu. Ah ha. So in stitches, I have everyone in stitches. <coughs> okay, Miss One. All right. Time is running out. Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> Let's make short and simple and sweet. All right, short and sweet. Um, well, I think um, that's all for today. Mm-hmm. We we just okay for those who. Uh, accidentally lah For example For those who just join us uh, Just just a recap for everybody We uh, Today uh, What we did was We discussed on Word skills Which means Vocabularies It's more like You know uh, Discussing vocabularies Associated words That can be used In certain contexts mm-hmm. So for today's slot for, for Fun Friday with English We discussed two slots I mean we discussed Two contexts The first one is Like and dislikes Yes Okay, where uh, we talk about apart from using the word like and love, there are a few more, you know, that can be used. For example, adore, detest. Uh, what else? Did you remember? Adore, detest. I'm into. <laughs> I'm into. Yes. I'm into. I'm so passionate about. Uh, mm. there, there are a lot more. Yeah, there are a few other ways that can be used. We have to make uh, the reasons why uh, I talk about it is for me. In order for us to uh, master the language, mm-hmm. you one of the one of the biggest uh, key point is for us to master the vocabulary. Yeah. You we have to have the vocabulary. Grammar it, it can comes afterwards. Yes. Yes, but you need to to have the skills to communicate. Mm-hmm. All right. So and to make your sentences variety, colorful. What's and what's more important is to get the message across. Yes. You can sampai ka message too, so that people can understand you. Yeah. All right. So you need. <coughs> To have uh, to learn more vocabularies, mm-hmm. okay. For me, that is very important. That is why mm-hmm. we need to have our vocabulary book. Yes. Do you have one, DJ Erin? Yes, Where's yours? Uh, <laughs> All right. So I myself, I myself, up until today, um, even I am now teaching as a lecturer in a university. I still have my own vocabulary book. One day I'll I show you have, mine. I still have. Yes, oh. that is that is not the one that uh, I had during my you know university years, mm-hmm. but that is something um, that uh, I collect. 
I made my own collection of my vocabulary book. But, but sometimes uh, mm-hmm. we have a lot of uh, vocabulary. Yes. But, so, but uh, when we mm-hmm. go into the mm-hmm. conversation, mm-hmm. Uh, you don't apply it. We, we, it cannot come out. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it needs practice. Yes, I think practice ah, is practice, one more important. Practice makes perfect. Yes. yes. Okay. 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 So Miss Wan, thank right. you very much. All right. Thank you so okay. much to all uh, listeners. So see you again next week, same time, same day. So Assalamualaikum and Selamat Hari Raya Aidilfitri. Maaf sahih dan batin. Waalaikumsalam.